Hello, everyone. Welcome to UVM Blog's coverage of the KubeCon Cloud Native Con North America 2025 event taking place in Atlanta. As part of that coverage today, we're being joined by Brock Mowry, the CTO of Tintree. Brock, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. If you wouldn't mind, I guess just to kind of kick things off, uh, maybe give a quick introduction uh, to Tintree and uh, maybe a brief overview of the technology before we dive in deeper. Thanks for having me, guys. My name is Brock Mowry. I'm the CTO of the Tintree division. Uh, the VM Store product, uh, which is uh, under the Tintree name, is a uh, 2U data management appliance. Uh, we started out specializing in the virtualization environment, and we've extended out into other areas like persistent volumes within uh, containerized applications. So we're really looking at those stateful uh, workloads, uh, maybe where performance and latency is very sensitive, because we give you that observability to be able to pinpoint where that's actually coming from, um, blocking operational bottlenecks, uh, as well as reducing complexity of the overall management of the solution. So with KubeCon right around the corner and uh, with the attendees that are listening to this, what specific problems that they may be facing in their company does Tintree solve for them? Visibility. Um, we bring a lot of deep analytics as to what's actually happening with that I.O. for that application. So we really want to go at the, uh, you know, call it uh, I.O. intensive applications where, you know, minor changes in latency really have a big impact to user experience. When you run those types of applications over top of our platforms, we, we really give you the visibility as to what is causing that, as well as we give you tools to be able to control it. Maybe it's a noisy neighbor type situation um, where you're able to step in with our QoS and our file system, as an example, to be able to guarantee the performance of that workload. Now, Brock, to put things into a bit of context, can you you know walk us through maybe a real world customer success story that showcases the impact of the Tentry technology? Yeah, so one that I've been recently working on is uh, actually out of the oil and gas industry. Uh, this company is not necessarily specific oil and gas. They actually cover quite a few. They're, they're a, a Fortune 500 company. Um, but specifically in this oil and gas project, they had a uh, application that was experiencing pretty high latency. And with their existing storage infrastructure, they really couldn't get the detail information of where that latency was actually being experienced or if it was something within the application that was causing it. Uh, they stood up the uh, VM store. They deployed our CSI architecture uh, tied into their Kubernetes environment. And they were actually able to not only see that when we moved to the VM store, we reduced our overall latency. So they were experiencing somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 milliseconds on an application, which is outrageous in some cases. Um, but they were able to get that down into single digit numbers on us. In addition to that, they actually found another application that was contributing to that overall latency that they wouldn't have, they, they had no idea until they actually had the, the uh, metrics in front of them from all of the systems that participated in the app. So we, we consider that a success story. That's, uh, you know, one area where, where our product just, just being there gave them the tools and the insight to be able to solve the problem. Now, it seems every year at KubeCon, there, there's more and more vendors. And um, with all these vendors showcasing their, their solutions, um, what would you say is the main differentiator with Tintree that makes you stand out among your competitors? I, it's definitely the swag. Uh, you know, all, all, all joking aside, our, our marketing team does a, a tremendous job at, at these events. Um, you know, we've been recognized a couple of times for our booth and our swag, but, uh, you know, that's the marketing side of the house. You know, technology is probably uh, where you guys really want the, the meat of the answer to come from. Uh, the VM store, you know, what we see as a differentiator is uh, we are a true application aware platform. We tie into Kubernetes through the cluster API. We're able to pull metrics data and make decision at the infrastructure level to benefit the application. So, you know, we, we really are trying to build an appliance that makes the infrastructure operator's life much easier uh, and, you know, autonomous operations, uh, autonomous uh, performance tuning, so on and so forth. So we really see that visibility within the platform and the ecosystem of tools that we're building around it uh, as our differentiator, you know, when you're looking at the data management space within Kubernetes. 
So, Brock, I, I would uh, definitely agree your marketing team does a really good job on uh, on the booth and, and the marketing side of the house, whether it's the, uh, the tchotchkes or just the entire booth experience. But uh, but anyway, sticking with, as you said, sticking with the technology, can you take us on a, a deeper dive of the solution? And by that, really looking more specifically for what kind of innovations or new features or things that you might be highlighting at the booth at KubeCon? The major kind of feature release here is uh, CSI integration into the VM Store platform. So we have uh, been working in the background on creating what we call a Kubernetes data service. So basically making the VM Store aware and understanding of Kubernetes infrastructures um, to be able to interact with it. And like I mentioned before, you know, do dynamic things based off of uh, performance metrics that may be coming into the system and so on. Um, you know, so we're really we're, we're showcasing around the CSI. So dynamic provisioning, uh, persistent volumes, obviously the cleanup, uh, deep provisioning of that. And then uh, we also want to get into some advanced data protection features. So on the platform as a whole, we've introduced dual custody snapshot locking, which gives you an extra uh, you know, security stance uh, that's been pretty popular in the uh, industry here the last few years. Unfortunately, there's some bad actors out there still uh, causing uh, causing trouble. Uh, so we're trying to be able to put uh, enforcement items in place to be able to, to help businesses remain uh, vigilant even under attacks. As we're nearing the end of the year and thinking about uh, the upcoming year and your kind of your roadmap, what are some of the trends that you see taking shape um, and how is your roadmap aligning with these uh, these new trends and developments? Multi-cloud and multiple uh, system management under a single control plane has been really popular. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing a lot of people moving workloads throughout different cloud environments. We're even starting to see a lot of uh, repatriation of workloads back into on-prem environments. So those control planes we see as, uh, as very key in the success of businesses as these workloads start to spread out. There are different architectures, there are different interfaces. The ability to kind of roll that up into a single common management uh, in, in as many areas as you can uh, delivers uh, benefits to the enterprises. So I, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, changes coming in that type of architecture. As far as our roadmap, you know, we've been doing items like uh, creating Tentry Cloud Engine, which is a software-based version of the VM store. Uh, it is actually a containerized version of our controller. So it can be deployable in Kubernetes type environments and serve some very interesting data management workflows. It can handle uh, SNAP repositories, or it can even provide storage out to clusters. So again, being able to get our product into those different type of architectures is really what we see that's coming around the corner in, in 2026. And uh, we, we started some key relationships with some vendors like Platform 9 that are really doing some interesting things in that overall control plane space. Now, as Brian mentioned before, uh, there's going to be a lot of vendors on the uh, expo floor. So with that, you know, being said, what's the main message that you'd like a show attendee who might come to your booth? What's that main message that they should take away after visiting Tentry? Yeah, so our, our vision is to make data management invisible. Um, you know, we bring a layer of intelligence that, that does that thinking for you. So we want to be able to have you deploy a very robust data management infrastructure inside of Kubernetes with the least amount of effort as possible. So we want to make that simple. Um, storage should never be a bottleneck for innovation. We want to be the accelerator as much as possible. Great. And um, before I let you go, uh, for people that are attending the, the show and also for people that are, can't make the show, where can they go if they uh, want to come and check out the latest uh, stuff at your booth and also uh, online? Yeah, so always hit up uh, tentry.com. We try to keep the website as up to date as possible. All of our socials are typically at Tintry, uh, depending on what the platform is. So please reach out there, especially over the show. We try to do some interaction and reach out while we're there on the floor. Um, and then come by and visit us, booth 910. Um, we are going to be doing demos. Uh, come grab me, pull me off to the side. I'd love to hear your unique challenges. 
one of the things I always love about KubeCon is I, I end up learning a lot more stuff about the topics that we're working on just because of the diverse crowds that are coming and asking questions and, and engaging. So it's always a great experience for us. Well, great, Barack. I want to uh, thank you for taking the time to speak with VM Blog ahead of the show. And we look forward to seeing you in Atlanta, Georgia. Awesome. Looking forward to you guys, too. We always appreciate your guys' time and, and exposure. 